right now I'm getting into a little bit of uh, blocking. Um, you know, it's a, I think it's a really um, underrated part of receiver play and, and your ability to block. And, and now you got to be able to do that on the perimeter, you know, in terms of, you know, the screen game and also, you know, uh, you know, to have explosive plays down the field, you know, in the run game, the guys have to block, understand leverage, understand hand placement and all of those things. So let's talk a little bit. So the first drill I usually start with is I call it a board stalk. Now, this drill depends. Sometimes I put this board a little bit further, but again, trying to cut the running down for my guys. But sometimes I, I'd set that board at the at the bottom of the number so I can really get them, you know, burst in to that spot. Okay. And why do I use a board? So basically you start talking about your relationship to a defender. Okay. So the ball snap, there should be push. If you have cushion and the corner's off, you have cushion, you need to push off that ball. He should not feel any different in that five yards, whether you're running a route or you're 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 gonna break down and block him. So you're pushing off that board, off the ball. Now, this board is really, you know, I talked to them about a three to four yard uh, window, you know, that you have to come to balance. So when do I come to balance? Okay, the defender's backing up. Now he sees running. He puts his foot in the ground. He's coming downhill. Okay, so when I get about three to four yards from him, I need to come to balance. Okay, and the thing you talk about coming to balance is making sure, one, you're not hopping. You always have your feet in the ground. Okay, so it should be right, left, right, left, right, left. The weight should be on the inside portion of your feet, the inside balls of your feet. Okay, what that allows you to do is is really move laterally. Okay, be able to push and load one foot up and push laterally, uh, and keeping your feet in the ground. Okay, the other thing I want them to do is again is I, I want I want you to get your hands in a position that, uh, that's ready to strike. OK, so your elbow should be tight to your body. OK, your 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 thumb should be up. You should be ready to strike. OK, we talk about wrist close together, elbows tight when I strike that defender. Now, when do you strike the defender? OK, I talk a lot of times you strike the defender when you get to handshake distance. OK, so when I'm able to reach my hand out and shake his hand, that's when I should be striking. You got to time up your strike. So striking when you get to handshake distance. The other thing is we talk about is hairline to chin, right? My hairline to his chin. That, that ensures that I'm the lower guy. I got good power angles, okay? And, my, and I got good bend in my knees and my ankles, okay? Good power angles, not hopping, a good base. I don't want my feet too tight. I want my feet about, you know, body width or slightly outside of, uh, of, of, of shoulder width apart. And I want to strike that defender. The other thing you got to make sure you do is when you strike, you probably should still always have some type of stagger, a slight stagger. You don't have to have your feet, you know, completely offset, but a slight stagger. And sometimes that stagger depends on where your leverage is. So let's just say, you know, let's say this guy is blocking for outside leverage. Let's say there's a swing or there's something going that direction, right? His job is to have this foot slightly in front of that foot the whole time. So when he's going through his right, left, right, left, he needs to make sure that foot is slightly ahead because what he's trying to do is close the door on this defender. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go. OK, but coming to balance, strike when you get the handshake distance. Make sure you're not leaning forward. You're in a good power position. OK, this is not bad here. OK, really, the thing that you got to coach him out of is going too fast. Right. It's like, no, you really need to slow down. Slow down. That's not terrible. I actually like this here by 80. This is this is good posture here. OK, good posture. It's kind of what I want right there. And then so after you strike, OK, now I've I've, I've, I've shot my hands and I want to get them close to me. I want to keep closing that space. So now I talk about getting belly to belly with that defender. OK, because you want to eliminate that space, because if you leave space, you're going to allow him to get his hands on you and shag you and, and, and shed you. OK, and that's not what we want. So you got to keep closing that space and getting close. So the third element to this part is after you strike now, pull that thing down and try to get belly to belly. OK, you walk with that guy belly to belly as much as you can. OK, make sure your base doesn't get too narrow or too wide. OK, 
okay? But working at right, left. So here, you know, to me, I'd like him to slow this down even more. I'm talking about uh, number 18 here, right? Slow down even more, okay? I don't want you hopping. It's right, left, right, left. Strike, wrist up, thumbs up, wrist close together. Okay, and the other thing you can do here is incorporate some direction, you're right? So I can tell these two guys at times, if I can find my mouse here, All right? Well, now once he gets to the edge of that board, you guys work lateral. And you just give both guys a direction, All right? And now what you want to see is you want to see that same posture, you know, good power angles. His, his hand should be in a strike position. His hairline should be to his chin. OK, but now as I move lateral, OK, I don't want to cross over. So I'm maintaining that base, maintaining that base all the way until contact. OK, so that, that's just, you know, one of the, the, the basic drills that, that I use uh, for that. I also have you know, a couple of leverage drills that I try to work. Um, so let's just talk really about that leverage. So, so let's just say again, you know, there's a there's a swing pass or an outside run going this direction. As he makes contact, now what I want him to do is try to close the door. This foot should be slightly ahead, you know, try to get his hip outside, and then he should try to lock out that outside arm, right? So his outside arm should be a little bit a little bit more straight. His inside arm is he's still kind of keeping it tight to his body, but trying to lock that defender out and keep your leverage, okay? You know, one of the things you talk about is, Leverage. Let's just talk about leverage. So right now they're both attacking head up. That's head up. Okay. Now when I teach perimeter blocking, I, I say head up to outside leverage, head up to outside leverage, because what I don't want him to do is just jump outside and allow that guy to knife him. Okay. So everything should start head up. And then as I get close to contact, now my hat should make sure my hat's play side. Okay. That's outside leverage. OK, you don't want to work a more than a half a man uh, uh, away from your leverage because now you're just going to open up the gate for that defender to shoot you. 